Well, welcome to Blitz 8 and the battle for home field advantage in the A playoffs is well underway. A big one in Sanford tonight. Sanford hosting Scarborough. Both teams coming in 4-1. and one. Spartans, though, missing key player Xavier Levine, the QB, Leighton Bickford, Jared Bissonette. How will they hold up? They were down 21 0 in the third, trying to go to the air, but this time of year, if it's ripe, it's going to get picked. Chase Cleary, the QB, knows how to turn defense to offense, takes it deep into Sanford territory, but that drive would stall. We're still 21 0. Later in the fourth, Sanford drives, but Jared Flaker, we know all about what he can do offensively, but making a great defensive play here to save a touchdown. It's still 21 0. Red Storm start the drive at their own four. Alexander Callahan that gets him some breathing room with a big run. And then Cleary, his third TD pass to Ryan Kelly, his second score. 28 to nothing. Scarborough, an impressive win on the road. They're 5 and 1, hosting Lewiston next Friday. Bonnie Eagle coming off its first loss, playing at Lewiston tonight. They are all Wildcat here. Nate Ferris out of the Wildcat, the short TD run. Bonnie Eagle up 7 to nothing. Lewiston, though, would answer with a drive, and Cameron Karen, elusive. Couple moves, gets into the end zone. We have a 7 7 game. Lewis, the next possession, it's Karen again. And what, what's that smell? Smell like a, an upset? Lewis then goes up 14 7 at home on Bonnie Eagle. But Bonnie Eagle responds. Zach Maturo, the 17 yard touchdown. Game tied at 14. Next drive, more Maturo, a six yard touchdown. He had four scores on the night. Scott scored 47 unanswered and take it 54 14. They have Chevers next week. Edward Little looking for its first win of the year against visiting Bangor. Late in the first half, EL down 7-0. Jack Keefe rolls out. He finds Noah Jordan over the middle. Jordan getting deep into Bangor territory. But early, or rather later, in the drive, Eddie's go for it on fourth down. Bryce and Air breaks through for the sack. Bangor stops the drive. It's 7-0 in half. Early in the fourth, Joey Morrison with a touchdown run. Bangor puts it out of reach. 28 to nothing. They're three and three. They host Sanford next week. All right, Thornton Academy traveling to Windham in an AB crossover. Peyton Jones had his fingerprints all over these highlights. In pass coverage, Jones with the pick for the Golden Trojans. Then from the end zone, Cam, a good look at the perfect play action. Kobe Godet finds Jones downfield, 65-yard touchdown, 56 to nothing. TA the win streak up to 17. Oxford Hills at Gorham. Good one this was. Rams driving the first. Isaac Rollins the sell on the play action to Beck Carrier. Touchdown, 6-0 Gorham. Vikings backed up on their own four. And where are you going to go if you're backed up? How about Addison Brown? This guy is making catches all over the place. Atticus Soren finds him. That helps the drive go 96 yards as Colby Van Decker caps it. It's a 6-6 game. Vikings up 9-6 late in the game. But Carrier strips the ball carrier and Gorham gets it back. A chance to tie it with a field goal late. They drive to the Vikings 35, fourth down with the pass incomplete. Oxford Hills holds on for the 9-6 win. They've won two straight. They visit Thornton next week. Homecoming at Biddeford, game of the night. Tigers hosting Chevers. Final play of the first quarter. Sean Tompkins, he's one of those guys you don't wrap up, you are in trouble because nobody is going to catch him. 60-yard touchdown for Tompkins. 7-0 Chevris just like that. Early in the second quarter, Mark Reale, who QB'd at Chevris last year, the screen to Aiden Donovan, and he makes some guys miss, and he's going to rumble 60 for the score. Biddeford goes up 8-7. Next Tizer, uh, Tigers possession, Reale, another screen pass. This one to Scott Kelly, 28-yard touchdown. It's 14-7 Biddeford. Let's fast forward. Closing seconds of the, the game. Game tied at 20. Reale finds Ashton Kroll, who tosses it to Scott Kelly on the hook and ladder. 39-yard touchdown. That would be the game winner. 28-20 bidder for their 4-2 at Deering next week. All right, Marshwood visiting Memorial Stadium, and taking on Deering. Hawks driving, but Deering's Amani Peoples Goring the pick. He had two picks in the first quarter, but Deering would come up empty in a couple of trips deep into Marshwood territory. And Marshwood would capitalize. John Valentine, the touchdown run. And then Justin Bryant, look out. The sack for the safety. It's 8-0 Marshwood. Bryant then finishing a drive with a 20-yard touchdown. He had a couple scores tonight. 36-0 Marshwood. They take on, uh, or rather, in their five games besides playing Thornton, they've allowed 10 points to Class B competition. Their defense has been unbelievable. Battle of the Bridge, South Portland and Portland. Play the game, came at halftime. Peter Johnson, the screen pass to Mac Ciampi. Ciampi's got one man to beat. Actually, make that everybody to beat. He crosses field and he's going for the touchdown. 
Red Riot's inspired by the play. A little misdirection of their own. Keenan Jones off to the races to start the second half. 49-yard touchdown, 21-0 South Portland. Portland sustains a drive, though. Jamal Mariba had some big runs on the drive, and he finishes it from five yards out. Portman down two scores, 21-7 in the third. Fast forward to the fourth, about eight to play, and Anthony Poole puts it out of reach. 36-yard touchdown run, his third score of the game. South Portman up to 4-2 and two on the year with a 35-7 win in the rivalry game. Unbeaten Brunswick at Falmouth tonight. The ground and pound Dragons. What, what's this, going to the air? Noah Goddard to Trey McKenzie, who caught a touchdown tonight. 44 yards down to the Falmouth 10. From there, Owen Richardson powers it in. Brunswick up 21-0 in the first quarter. They were rolling tonight. The ensuing kickoff, here's a look at Richardson. He's not a one-dimensional player. On special teams, the tackle and the force fumble, and that would set up Mitch Liner for the 20-yard touchdown. Liner, three first-half TDs, 49-7. Brunswick rolls tonight. They are unbeaten. All right, Lisbon handed unbeaten Spruce its first loss last week. Could the Greyhounds pick up another road win tonight? Traveling to York, big challenge for the Greyhounds, but they were up for it early on. Marching in the first quarter, uh, quarterback Seth Lehman keeps it for the big game. And three plays later, Cam Bourget powers in for the score. Lisbon goes up 7-0. But York would answer with a drive. The handoff to Hayden Henriksen, which fakes the cameraman. Usually when you fake the cameraman, you fake the defense. Big gain for Henriksen inside Lisbon territory. Later, Tegan Hines with the play action to Noah Carmahalis. How many times have we said this year? This, this year? How many times have we said that this year? From Hollis, the touchdown, 42-33 York Wildcats, 5-1 at Morris next Friday. All right, Cape visiting Morris. Capers' passing game was clicking in the first. Gannon Stewart, the nice play fake, finds Matt Laughlin open for the score. Stewart, five touchdown passes. Second Capers possession. This time Stewart airs it out to Laughlin. 44 yards. Laughlin, what a game. Seven catches, 207 yards in the air, 283 total yards. Oh, he chipped in with 15 tackles, too. 40 to nothing Cape. They host Levitt next week. Our eight man football, Yarmouth at Booth Bay tonight. Clippers up 30 to 14 at the break, and Clippers feeding Wyatt Sullivan. He can't get enough. One cut, and you could put it on the board. 56 yard touchdown run for Sullivan. 36 14 Clippers. Booth Bay gets it back, though. Hunter Crocker, the slant to Stephen Bennett. Bennett forces the missed tackle, and he's off to the races. 67-yard score, 36-20. Yarmus lead cut to two scores. Clippers capitalize on the short field later on. Spencer Lebrecht, the TD run. Sullivan adds another. 50-20 Yarmouth. A couple of wins in a row. They face Ellsworth next week. Lawrence hosting Brewer at historic Keys Field. Lawrence driving in the first. Quarterback Dylan Coombs goes up top to Nate Regaldo. There is an... Always, there's always a Regaldo highlight, right? This guy's pretty good. 69 to 6, Lawrence with a big win over Brewer. All right, Oak Hill at unbeaten Bucksport. Quarterback Gavin Rostrand rushing into the end zone gives Oak Hill a 14 0 lead in the fourth, but Bucksport came back and rallied to get three unanswered scores. 21 14, Bucksport with the win. They stay unbeaten. Big battle in Northern Sea. MCI hosting Winslow. Less than a minute to go in the first half. MCI's Ryan Friend hits Will Russell, who dives to the pylon. He's in. MCI is up 19 14. But Winslow owned the game from there. It's Cody Pomeroy to Cody Ivy to give them the lead back. And Winslow rallies for the 61 37 win. That right there, Blitz 8. Check it out again on WMTW.com. Thanks for watching.